And then think about how tall you are from your tailbone through the crown of your head and imagine someone standing behind you pulling your skull up a little bit higher. And then relax as you close your eyes. And just take some time to tune into your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. And if it's helpful to use yesterday's visual of breathing in fresh, clean air. And then as you exhale, breathing out anything stale, negative, anything that doesn't make you a better person, just letting go of that. And then just like yesterday, if it helps to put one hand on your chest and one on your belly, you can. Otherwise, just focus into expanding through the front body on the inhale. And as you exhale, let go, let everything relax in the front side of your body. And maybe you feel a slight contraction in your abdomen at the end of the exhale. So just taking your time, slow and on purpose. And then for your next few breaths, breathe into your side body. Feel your rib cage expand sideways on the inhale. And release and relax on the exhale. Maybe even squeezing in sideways on the abdomen at the end of the exhale to get all the air out. Just taking your time, noticing your breath, mindful awareness of it. And then take a few breaths into your back body, feeling your shirt to push out backwards, rising up slightly in the upper back as you inhale and then feel it relax, shrink away on the exhale. And then breathe in all directions, front body, side body, back body, even including the height of your lungs as you inhale, growing them in all directions. Exhale, you can add your breath to it if you want or your voice to it. <sighs> Letting go with a sigh. And do two more just like that. And then because it feels so good, take three more expansive breaths, inhaling fully, exhale, nobody can hear you, so let it go. And then find that natural rhythm of your breath, just letting yourself be breathed without any judgment or any effort, and just noticing your breath. And then maybe notice areas on your body where you're feeling some tension and breathing intentionally into those areas and asking the muscles, tendons, and ligaments to relax. And I know Zoom, uh, as you're doing this, I just wanna to talk to you a little bit. I know Zoom says they're gonna cut you off after 40 minutes, but they've been pretty good about letting people go as long as they like, so. We'll try and go our whole hour together. And if we do get cut off, I'll probably just call y'all so that we can finish up on the phone.
So let's just bring our breath and our thoughts to the present moment. And trying to stay in the present throughout our practice today. I know our minds get busy. If, if they do, it's okay. It's really natural. That's what our minds do is uh, take us to the next and the next and the next thought. But let's just try to stay with the present moment. And the best way to do that is through your breath. And just think I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out right here, right now in this pose or this stretch. So take one more big tall inhale. And as you exhale, slowly let your chin float down to your chest. And just notice everything stretching out on the back side of your neck. And then on your next inhale, slowly float your right ear over toward your right shoulder, left hand down. And let's bend our elbow today. So your elbow's at about 90 degrees. And you can keep your eyes closed here. I'm going to do some nerve flossing. If you've had PT lately, they do this a lot. So we're just going to circle that arm around a few times. And then go the other way. Real light fist, doesn't have to be tight. And then gently swing your arm forward and back. And just noticing what you're noticing in your shoulder and along the top of your neck. And then take your arm out and in. Notice how we, when you bring it closer, you start to feel the tension. And then rest your hand down. Take your chin to your chest, pause there. Next inhale, let your head float the other way. And then we'll bend the right elbow. Swing the arm forward and back. Just noticing what you're noticing. And make a few circles. And reverse your circling. And then do the out and the in. And then rest your hand down, chin to your chest. Exhale there. Next inhale, take your head up tall. Exhale when you get there. Inhale, turn your head to the right as far as you can, just to see what kind of mobility you have in your neck today. Exhaling there. Inhale, come on back to center. Exhale there. Inhale, turning to the left. And exhale there. Inhale, come on back to center. We're gonna do a little more nerve flossing and see if we can release any of that tension. I want you to take your chin down towards your right armpit. So not in a really aggressive way, but just so that you can kind of feel a pull. And then make three baby circles with your nose about the radius or diameter or circumference, if you will, of a ping pong ball. So just tracing little ping pong circles with your nose. And then go the other way three times. Inhale up tall to center, exhale when you get there. Tall inhale, as you exhale, take your chin to your chest or on the other side toward the armpit. Just feel the pull first and then start making your little ping pong size circles with your nose. Three each way. Now, if you guys have doctors who tell you not to do any of this, please don't, but I only do it because I know it's okay for my neck. <laughs> Inhale back up, exhale when you get there, and then inhale turning to look over your right shoulder again. Exhale when you arrive. Inhale back to center, exhale there, and then look over your left shoulder on your next inhale. Exhale there. Inhale, come on back to center and exhale, relax. Everybody okay sitting cross-legged? If you're not, you can always stretch out one or both legs if it feels better. So don't feel like you have to stay like this the whole time. We're gonna do a little thymus thumping next. I taught Pam, Pam this, because um, it's really important to break up 
It's really good at breaking up stuff in your chest if you should ever get congested there. It's also um, really good for um, getting your thymus gland growing because they shrink in time and with age and it helps fight off infection. So it's really good for all of us to do it. So on your right hand, pinch your fingers together and your thymus gland is somewhere in your breastbone. So you wanna go about halfway down or they say like the third rib down. So if you wanna count your ribs, you can, but it's somewhere right in there. And you're just gonna start hitting yourself. So I'm just pinching my fingers together and then tapping in the center of my chest. And you can tap plainly like in a beat or you can go boom, 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 kind of like your heartbeat. And take deep breaths while you're doing this. Nice dog, Tammy. <laughs> and if it helps to close your eyes and just imagine that thymus gland growing, you can. The mind is very powerful at healing the body too, so it's important to remember that Doing healing things for yourself can be very, very helpful to your recovery. And if you have pain in your heart from your loss too, this might help with that. Sure you do. My heart's with all of you. And then after doing that a few times and 10 deep breaths, then just rest your hand down and just notice. Notice the sensations you're feeling. Imagining that thymus gland grew and is there to help and support your immune system. And any kind of thumping you do on your body or any kind of um, energy work you do on your body kind of helps create sensations in that area and really gets your heart feeling more alive, right? Because parts of our body start to feel a little bit dead with time and age and, and pain that's been caused to us. So keep that in mind. Take your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. And then go the other way two times. Those shoulders like to carry tension in our body, don't they? Let your hands land down at your sides, finger or palms up if that's okay. Take a big inhale all the way up, reaching for the sky. As you exhale, palms down, floating your hands back down, just finding that rhythm of your long, long breath. So make an expansive breath, big as you can, inhaling up. Rooms filling up with water, air, if you will. And then slowly, gravity brings them back down with your breath. Again. And then take your hands down towards your knees. As you inhale, slide your hands up your thighs, lifting your heart up. As you exhale, slide your hands down your thighs, back down towards your knees, nose towards your belly button. This is really good for low back pain, especially if you have to sit a lot during the day at your desk. Just do a few of these seated cows and cats because they can really help stretch the back out. One more inhale, lifting your heart up. Exhale, rounding out your spine, nose towards your belly button. And then take one more big inhale all the way up. Palms together, exhale, bringing your hands together in front of your heart. Press your thumbs into your chest and just feel the aliveness there. And if you want, sometimes it's nice to set an intention for someone or something that you're wishing or hoping for in your practice. So if you'd like, you may do that at this time and then at the end of the practice, come back to it. That person, that thing, maybe every breath dedicated to that person or that wish. Let's try to keep our attention focused on our breath today. When you're ready, we'll transition to all fours. So just take your time getting there. And I don't know if you have a yoga mat. If you don't have one, you can probably order one. Some are pretty 
inexpensive online. Otherwise, TJ Maxx and Marshalls are my go-to place. This mat's a little more expensive than most, but I get one because I'm a yoga teacher. <laughs> All right, just check in with your hands. Make sure they're underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. And then do two centered cows and cats where you just lift your heart and your tailbone up. We don't want to harm our back, so just be careful how hard you go into this. Go in a kind and gentle way to yourself. And then as you exhale, round out your spine, nose towards your belly button. And do one more centered inhale, lifting your heart up. Exhale, rounding out your spine, nose towards your belly button. And then come on back to neutral. And we're just going to do some circling of our hips. So bring them forward to the right, hips over your heels, and then to the left. So just do a few of those circling around, inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you go back and around. And then after a few in that direction, try going the other way and see how that feels to stretch. And breathe. And after three, find your center again, knees under hips, hand up, hands under shoulders, and reach your right heel back behind you. Oops, you can't see me. So my foot's off the ground and my leg is lower than my torso. Don't want it to go up high because that arches our back. And then take your left hand forward and find some length in your body from your heel through your fingertips. And this is a balance challenge, so don't worry if you fall out of it, but just think about your core here. And then as you exhale, try bringing your elbow and knee together because you said you wanted more core work. <laughs> Inhale, reach it out long, just so you know, thumbs up's a little nicer on the shoulders. Exhale, round out. Inhale, reach it long, and you get one more. Reach it long, and then set your hand down and your knee as well. And then take a centered cow and cat. And if this is starting to bug your wrists at all, just punch your fists into the ground, and that'll take the pressure off the wrists if you have any wrist issues. Take your left heel way back behind you, toes off the ground, flex your foot, and then reach your right hand forward, finding length from your heel through your fingertips. And then as you exhale, round out your spine, bring the elbow and knee together. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale. And one more. And then set your hand and your knee down. And give yourself one more cow and cat stretch any way you want it. And then take your knees wide, let your big toes come together and send your weight over your heels. And if you remember yesterday, if it felt better to put a pillow on your calves as you go into child's pose, feel free to do that. Sometimes that feels better on people's knees, especially if they're bothering you. And then once you're in child's pose, dig your elbows in and roll your wrists around. And I would like you to stay here for 10 deep breaths. As you inhale, feel your shirt rising up. As you exhale, let your belly soften down toward the ground a little more. And arms can stay ahead of you, or you can place your arms at your sides, palms up. Keep breathing into your back body, melting down on the exhale.
And after 10 breaths, make your way back up and bring your forearms to your mat. And then stretch your feet out back behind you so you're on your toes. Got you into another core strengthener here. <laughs> Think about how long you are from your arches through the top of your head. Squeeze your belly button in so it's pulling into your spine and up toward the ceiling. And breathe. Knees can come down at any time if you need a little break. Just pick your toes up if you do and that'll take the pressure off the kneecaps. Elbows underneath your shoulders. I'm shaking, how about you? <laughs> now let your knees come down and lower your torso all the way down. Walk your hands forward and give yourself a big stretch. Kick your legs. And then slide your hands back where they were so they're under your shoulders are underneath the elbows or el elbows under shoulders. Thank you. <laughs> Take a tall inhale. As you exhale, pull your elbows back behind you, reach your heart forward, and then slowly let your chest come down, down, down. You should feel a nice bit of space being created in the lumbar spine. And then push the ground away as you inhale again and readjust your shoulders. We're gonna do that one more time, only this time snake your body a little bit side to side as you're coming forward and down and see if that creates a little bit different space in the vertebrae. And then take your hands back by your chest. Inhale, pushing the ground away a little or a lot. Push back to your knees, tuck your toes under, and move into a downward facing dog so you look like an upside down V. But I want you to be soft in your knees. If you have your legs straight, just walk your feet in a little bit more. And then press one heel down and then the other. So we're pedaling out our feet one and then the other. I'm giving those calves and Achilles a little stretch there. And now walk your feet to the right, toe heel, toe heel, toe heel. And then back to center and to the left, just toe healing your whole way. And if your heels don't come down, don't force it. Some of us have really tight Achilles or calf muscles and they may never come down and that's okay. We're all put together differently. Back to center, rise up on your toes on the inhale. As you exhale, push both heels down and then walk your feet forward. And we're gonna hang out in a forward fold. So let your head drop down, maybe nod it yes. Shake it no. And just notice how the hamstrings are feeling as you're breathing into them. And your knees can be as soft as they need to be. Not a lot of effort here yet. And then bring your fingertips down and just shift your weight forward into your toes, back into your heels. And then a little side to side. Knees are bent as much as you need them to be so you have the support of your fingertips on the ground. And then come back to center. And hold on to opposite elbow and gently sway your upper body side to side. Now we're going to intensify that stretch a little bit. Fingertips down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, try lifting your tailbone up toward the ceiling. Tuck your chin in toward your chest and bring your chest closer to your thighs. And breathe. And then bend both knees. Hands go just above your knees to protect your back as you come up. A gift from Zoom, running out of time. We're removing the 40 minute time limit. All right, you get to keep going. Okay, once you're up, tip you back a little. 
take a big inhale all the way up. As you exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. And do that two more times. Big inhale. And exhale down one more. This is what I do to say hello to the sun every day because I'm so grateful we have it. <laughs> now take your hands to your thighs and slide them back down. So that's a good way to... Uh, my right ear must be looser than my left. <laughs> that's a good way to always come up and down if you have any kind of back issues. Slide your fingertips up your shins as you inhale and flatten out your back. And then fold in two on the exhale. I want you to make fists of your hands and trap them in between your feet. And then take your hands above your knees to come up. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. And take a look down at your feet. Can you pick up all 10 toes and spread them out wide? And then place them down. You can use your hands too if you want to. You don't have to. It just really helps me. And then push your big toes down and pick up the four smaller toes and try stretching them out. And then relax them down. Bend your knees. Pick up your big toes. Use your leg and your core strength to pull your big toes closer together. And then relax them down. Pick up all 10, spread them out wide, and then push them down on the mat. Take your shoulders forward, up, back, and down, and squeeze your blades together and slide them down where they belong. Now our feet are hip width apart, based on our bone structure, two fists, and our shoulder blades are squeezing together and then down your back. Think about somebody standing behind you lifting your head up taller. And then think belly button in, tailbone pointing down. And feel the strength and power you have here in mountain pose. This is the best posture you'll have all day. You want your ear, shoulder, hip, and ankle aligned. You're strong and vital. Tuning into your breath here. And then release that, shaking it off. Inhale up, exhale, hands to your heart, and then through your heart, diving down. I'm going to turn sideways. I just want you to take your right foot and step it back at an angle. So my toes, you can't see me. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. So my toes are kind of going off at an angle, the back foot, front foot pointing straight forward. And then straighten out that front leg and take your nose down towards your knee. A little more for the hamstrings, yeah. And breathe. And if it feels good to massage that front, uh, the back of the front thigh, feel free to do that. Sometimes working against the muscle fiber feels good, and then sometimes rubbing your fingers along the muscle fiber feels good. It'll just help relax and release it. And maybe a gentle swaying side to side might feel good. And if your hands aren't on the ground, just put pillows under them so you have a little stability there. Take two more deep breaths here. And then bend into that front knee and get up on your back toes. And bring your hands to your front knee. And we're coming all the way up into a crescent lunge. Whew. And then float your hands down to frame your front foot. I'm going to step that back foot back a little more and lower your knee all the way down. Relax your toenails and send your weight forward a little bit more. That hip flexor stretch. And breathe in. Tuck your back toes under. Pick that back knee up. Bring your back foot in a little bit. Press your heel down. Straighten out your front leg and take your nose down to your knee here. 
and breathe. And again, if it doesn't touch your knee, don't worry about it. Just doing the best you can in every pose. That's what I love about yoga. It's non-judgmental. It's non-competitive. It's just you, your body, and your breath. And then bend into both knees, bring that back foot forward, find in a fold. Hands above your knees as you bend them. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to and through your heart. You're diving back down and just gonna take that back, back foot back at an angle. Your left foot at an angle, right foot pointing forward. Hands can come to your knee. Whoops, yeah, yeah, I did want you in warrior one, didn't I? Did I? Inhale up and then float your hands back down to frame that front foot. Straighten out your front leg, nose to your knee. And we're breathing here. So yesterday we did the single leg stretch lying, uh, sitting down and now we're kind of doing it standing up, but you should feel that intense stretch in the hamstring. And if you want to give it a little love, feel free. And if you're arm massaging, you'll notice where the muscle connects to the bone is always a little bit tighter than the meaty part of the muscle, or maybe a little more tender is a good way to describe it. And then bend into that knee. Get up on the back toes, hands to your front knee. Woo, watch the balance <laughs> coming all the way up. And then float your hands down to frame your foot. Slide that back foot back a little bit more so our front knee doesn't go past our toes as we set our knee down and then send your weight forward and breathe. And then tuck your back toes under. Pick that back knee up off the ground, walk it in a little bit so you can get the heel down and then straighten out the front leg, nose to knee there. And you never want a hyperextended joint. So I always say a little micro bend goes a long way. And now bend into both knees, step your back foot forward, find your fold. Halfway lift as you inhale, fold as you exhale, and then root your feet down to rise up, arms out wide or hands above your knees. Let your hands land in front of your heart. And then we're gonna bend our knees and come all the way down to our mat. So just find your way down any way you can, gracefully, darling. Time for that little bit of core work I promised you. I'm going to go this way so I'm facing the sun. <laughs> Feet on your mat, arms reach forward, find your tall posture, and then lean back with a flat back about five to seven inches, and then start hollowing out your core. So draw in on your belly button and see how slowly you can come down. Inhale your hands up. Exhale, let them land on the ground above your head. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, we're gonna peel our head and shoulder blades off the ground and try to get back up. But if you get here and go, mm, nope, just use your legs to help you up. So you can hang on and then reach up for the sky. Lean back, find your V shape again, and we're gonna do that again. Exhale all the way down, hollow out. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, peel your head and shoulder blades, you're coming back up. 
reach for the sky and then lean back and find your v-shape pick up your right leg left leg too if this hurts to stay here or you just feel unstable just hang on to your legs and elongate your spine and neck otherwise here's your high boat and then we're going to go into a low boat so arms go out wide legs stretch long exhale come back up to that high boat inhale to low exhale to high these are hard if you don't want to do them don't do them inhale exhale hands behind your legs or keep reaching forward see if you can tap your right toes down and then your left and your right and your left how about both together one more good job <laughs> we're loving this aren't we i can see don is very happy we did this <laughs> thank you all right get your low boat on one more time and then legs down arms down Ooh, say no with your head make sure your neck didn't take on any tension and then walk your feet in towards your seat hug your knees and gently rock side to side and then bring your head and shoulders off the ground keep your right leg as you extend your left leg long without setting it down i'm just going to turn you slightly here and see what the feet are doing oops that way and then give it a pull and a pulse and if that hurts your neck just do it with one hand behind your head so it's in in out out with the breath let's smooth it out skip the pulse So single leg stretch if you did Pilates at any point in your life. Now take both hands behind your head. Keep the legs doing the same thing, but reach your opposite elbow across your body. So we're working the oblique muscles and try and tap your elbow if you can. Exhale, exhale. four three two and one nice job let your head rest down hug your knees again gently rock your body side to side and then come to center and just say no with your head make sure we didn't take on any tension in that neck and then take your right leg up hang on to it left leg long Pick up your head and shoulders, give it a pull and a pulse and switch, pull and pulse, switch. One hand behind your head if that bugs the neck at all. So it's in, in, out, out with the breath. Now take both hands behind your leg or your head next time the uh, leg goes up, right leg up, and then flex your feet and hold it there. Squeeze your belly button in, switch and hold. Squeeze the belly button, switch and hold. Switch and hold. Squeeze, 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 and release. Good job. That ends the core work, okay? <laughs> Rock it side to side. And then we're going to come on to our bellies. So just roll over whatever way is best for you. And then we're going to reach back and find our right foot if you can and left foot if you can and if you have pants on you can't quite reach you can grab the pant leg or if you have a strap or a belt or something you want to put around your feet you can anybody need a minute to go get something we're okay all right hanging on to both feet take a big inhale as you exhale push your feet away from you so you're coming up slightly with the shoulders and the head and the knees off the ground stay here and breathe and your body might rock a little bit and we call this bow pose because you look like a bow from a bow and arrow. And then as you lower down, keep just your right foot. Your left hand can come underneath your forehead and you can rest your head down on it or you can turn your head to the side if that's okay. My neck won't allow that, so I'll look straight down. But I want you to bring that foot as close to your butt as you can. 
And then think about your tailbone going back behind you and then down to the ground. And if that cue doesn't work for you, just think about pushing your knee down into the ground as hard as you can. Ooh, stretch it out the quad. It's pretty intense, but so good for us. Breathing into the muscles, tendons, ligaments of the thigh to ask them to relax. And then release that foot. We'll do the other one. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, tailbone goes back behind you and then down to the ground. Otherwise, think about pushing your knee into the ground really hard. And then release that foot down. Give yourself a big stretch here. And then we're gonna roll back onto our back. And bring that right knee into your chest, left leg long. Take the leg across your body. And then reach your right hand away and look at it and float your hand gently up above your head and down towards your bottom. This is a nice shoulder opener. And then back out to the side until your shoulder comes back down to the ground. And breathe here in this twist. If it feels uncomfortable in the least, just back out of it a little bit. And try and breathe way down into your belly and your lower back. If you want to let your mind wander back to your intention for today's practice, go ahead and do that as we're twisting here. And then on your next couple of breaths, slowly float on to your back. Walk your feet in close to your bottom and push your feet into the ground, lifting your seat up. And you can either stay like this or link your fingers together underneath your back. And maybe tuck one shoulder under and the other. And then take five breaths way deep down in your belly. Only tuck the shoulders in if that feels okay. I think Pam told me you're all cheerleaders, so if you want to do a back bend here, you can, pushing up into it. <laughs> I don't want to, but you can if you want. <laughs> I was a cheerleader, but not a good one. <laughs> Art's talking to me. <sighs> Yeah, back bends were hard for me until I took yoga teacher training and I figured out how to do them properly without hurting my back. And then release one shoulder and the other and squeeze your belly button into your spine and see if you can roll down one vertebrae at a time from high up on your spine all the way down to your low back. And once you're down, hug your knees in, gently rocking side to side. And then keep the left leg as you stretch right leg long on the ground. Gently take that knee across your body. You can let it come all the way down to the ground if that feels okay. Reach away, look away, float that hand up above your head and down towards your bottom, being kind and gentle on the shoulder. And back out to the side, let your shoulder come back down to your mat. Look away from your legs. Pause and breathe here. Shoulder back on the ground. Just breathing into our belly, into our low back. Thinking about our intention for today's practice. While staying connected to our breath.
And as we slowly release that pose, take both feet up toward the ceiling, both hands to pointing and flexing, doing some circling and reversing. And then flex your feet in hands, rotate your feet so the outside edges of the feet are toward the ceiling as well as your hands. Come back to center with the flexion and then rotate. That'll help prevent ankle sprains and if you do get one, or wrist sprains, it won't be so bad. Shake that off. And then take your knees wide to the sides of your body. You can either hang it on to the bottoms feet of the feet uh, from inside, outside, or pick your head up, reach your hands to the outsides and then set your head down. Or if you need to hang on to calves or ankles again, we're all put together differently. And then rock it side to side. Let yourself be free here in this happy baby. Baby only gets unhappy if she gets on one side and can't get back up. <laughs> What has happened to me before? <laughs> Let me use my hands to return to center. And then do find your center and just let the weight of your elbows be heavy on the inner thighs to help open that part of our body up. And then when you're ready, release your feet down. Inhale your arms up. Exhale as they land on the ground above your head. Give yourself a big stretch fingertip to toe tip. Exhale, relax, and then stretch out the right side of your body only. Exhale, relax. Inhale, left side long. Exhale, relax. Walk your feet out a little wider, or if you want to put a, a pillow under your knees, or you'd rather have your knees bent and let your knees drop together. Another great hip opener is to put the bottoms of your feet together and let your knees flare open. That's a little bit hard on the low back, so uh, just be cautious not to stay there too long if you choose it. Otherwise, if your legs are straight, just let your toes flare out to the sides. Inhale your hands up. Exhale, let them land at your sides or out wide, palms up. It's time for Shavasana. You stay there and rest and breathe. Breathing in, breathing out. And if you liked yesterday's visual of being near the ocean, with your feet toward it, water coming up your body, and then going back out to the ocean. With it goes anything stale, negative, anything you don't need in your life. Staying with your breath as you lie there and relax. Little thoughts come back to your intention. It's fine to meditate on that as well.
Notice the sun warming you. Notice your body sinking deeper and deeper into the sand, whatever it is beneath you. Just letting go. All your cells in your body relax, muscles release. Just moving your tongue from the roof of your mouth can help relax your jaw, your face, your whole body. Be especially mindful of that as you go to sleep at night. When you're ready, wiggle fingers and toes. If it would feel good to take another big long stretch, go ahead and do so. Just noticing how your body's feeling at this moment. And then gently walk your feet in toward your seat. And with your shoulders relaxed, just gently drop your knees side to side. Not in a hurried way. Just taking your time to notice how that feels in your spine and in your legs. You might even feel a slight pull in the armpit, tricep muscle. And then just let your body decide for you which side you'd like to roll on to today. And take your time getting there and just use your, your arm as your pillow for your head once you arrive. Pause here for three more grounding breaths. Feeling that connection to the earth beneath you. And then in your own time, make your way back up to a comfortable seat. Whatever's comfortable for you, remember you don't have to have your ankles crossed only if that feels good. Let your hands rest down on your legs and rock your body side to side, making sure you feel your sits bones or the bottom of your pelvis pushing down, crown of your head lifting up tall. Hands return together in front of your heart, and then rest your thumbs against your chest. And pause here to notice the beat of your heart. Take a tall inhale. As you exhale, bow to yourself and everyone else gathered here today. In the name of bringing some peace and some breath back to our body. And when you own your breath, nobody can steal your peace. My heart to yours. Namaste.